Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. And today our topic is a little bit about Afghanistan. Now many of you ask me what I think about what happened there. I think this is very normal. And um, the American, they knew they cannot stay there forever. I mean, either you take the country, never give it back, or you are going to leave one day. So the American, they announced many years ago that they are going to leave Afghanistan, and they give even the exact date. And the funny is that some Muslims, they claim victory when it is the American who announced many years ago, and Taliban did not take any city by war with the American uh, in the last uh, 15 days. Uh, everyone knows that the American, they decide, they actually, obviously, they have an agreement with Taliban. That's, we will not fight you. And that's why, actually, the Taliban is not even fighting them. I mean, there's 5,000 soldiers in Kabul airport. And the distance between Taliban and the American soldiers is less than 30 meters. Uh, yet nobody is shooting at anyone. So there is an agreement. We got that. But we saw how... Uh, how much Afghani people are scared from the coming of Islam, not Taliban. You know, everybody says Taliban, Taliban, Taliban. The fact, it's about Islam. They are terrified because Islam is coming. And this is telling us that nobody really wants Islam. Everybody wants a free life from the garbage of Muhammad. And we saw the pictures, you know, if, if you... Uh, if you watch, uh, I'm, so, I'm sure many of you watching YouTube videos or news, and you saw tens of thousands running uh, to escape hell, you know, literally. And, you know, like this is an uh, American airplane uh, carrier, and they have, I don't know, a couple of hundreds, if not a thousand or more, inside the airplane, uh, just to escape. And uh, you see here, you know, how crazy things is. But why, why people of Afghanistan? I mean, shouldn't be shouldn't be every single Afghani happy that the American are leaving? <clears throat> uh, the the Muslims they claim that Islam is a wonderful religion. All what happened, nothing changed. The one was their president before is an Afghani, and the one is going to be their president now is Afghani. So what the different? The different is one want to practice Islam, the other one you don't. He practice half of it. <laughs> so the, the truth is Islam is scary and, and Muslims are terrified of Islam and then you, you see all those people running to come to USA and to come to Europe they will come to Europe they say Islam is great you know that guy from uh, what his name Sheikh Uthman Sheikh Uthman I mean what, what is this guy what happened to him do, do he dare to say I am against Taliban <laughs> Do he dare to say I support the Taliban army? I'm against the American. Do he dare to say I support the American army, which supposedly now his army, he carry American passport? He don't dare. He's a potato. He's in a burqa. <laughs> anyway, so they bring those translators, like uh, like Sheikh Uthman, who you supposedly work as a translator, as I heard. Uh, and because supposedly they help the American army. But those people, you know, they are just doing a job. They don't care really. I mean, whoever hired them, they will do the job. And in the same time, there are tens of thousands. Do you think Taliban already will kill all those people? There is no way. So it is it is a joke. It is it's the, the Western are really suffering from, uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be insulting, but it's uh, stupidity is amazing. And then we see some actors and actress uh, making a statement beyond the stupidity. You know, the word stupidity cannot explain. So you see this guy, I, I don't know really his name, I saw him in a movie before, but I don't remember names of actors because they don't count for me. Uh, <clears throat> Ron Perlman calls on Biden to go back to Afghanistan, evacuate everyone. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> we have 38 million Afghani. They want to leave. Trust me, even Taliban, if you give them a citizenship or a green card, they will come. Actually, the foreign minister of Taliban who was 20 years ago, a foreign minister, he lived right now in San Francisco. 
Can you believe it? The foreign minister of Taliban, who the, the American attack in 2011, he himself, uh, he came as a refugee to USA, and I think now they gave him citizenship. Can you believe it? So those uh, uh, those people, you know, they are out of their mind. All those who supported us, they did not support us, really. Did you see what uh, Trump, he just said a few days ago? And he's given the report, what he get from the intelligence when he was a president. He said, we bribed them to fight. We used to bribe Afghan fighters to fight Taliban. So they are not taking our side. Why you want to bring them here? You want to bring corrupt criminals? Because the one who go for war for the sake of money, he will kill for the sake of money wherever he go. We used to bribe Afghan fighters to fight. So USA spent billions of dollars building schools. Now all the schools we build, the Taliban will teach Islam in it. Thank you, Trump. Thank you, George Bush. Thank you, Biden. You know, and they knew that one day they are leaving. But this is what the American they think. Oh, we will do the same as we did in Germany. You know, in Germany was destroyed after the second second war. You know, like so we go there and we support them, and then Germany will became our friend. But, you know, but this is different country. This you know this is a country living in the cave time. Literally the cave time. The silly Western, they think they can bring democracy to Islamic countries. Islam, Islam cannot accept democracy. You want to bring democracy, you have to fight Islam first, not Taliban. The problem is not Taliban. Do you ask yourself why Taliban is Taliban anyway? Why the stupid ones don't want to tell us? What is the problem with Taliban? It is Islam. That's all. The only problem, you see, like uh, sometimes you look at the at the images of those actors, you find that the real image is the one which is the makeup, not the one in the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, even they choose they choose carefully, carefully what they like to be, you know. Uh, <laughs> so you know many people they take, they take actors as the the quality you see that they are the quality of the society the fact they are the last one to be called the quality for anything i never saw an actor say something right i never saw an actor speaking something good i never saw an actor I mean, I like this guy, he's a comedian, right? But if you ask him about, about social life, he will give you all the dump you can imagine. So, those actors, you know, they are not really the one who can tell us how things should be. They are not the one to advise us. They are not the one who can tell us what to do. So when an idiot, he says, this wrong, he says, go and bring everybody who want to leave. Who is going to stay in the country? Nobody. And if we bring them those who they are going to leave, where are you going to put them and who is going to pay for them from your salary? Already we will have more than 100,000 Afghani coming to, you, to, the, to the West. And I don't know how many of them to USA. I think the biggest number is to USA. You bring them here, second day they will say Islam is wonderful for brother. So why you run away? Because Islam is wonderful for reason, brother. Why you escape? Why you hold the tire of the airplane desperate to leave? Because Islam is wonderful, brother.
I believe strongly the only one who deserves support and protection is the Christians in Afghanistan. You know, what I know, there is thousands and thousands of Afghani that converted to Christianity. Those are the one with protection. And even those ones should not bring them here. We should protect them there so Christianity stay. We should make a certain area for those Christians who they can be independent and Taliban cannot go there. And you know what you say, they can't do it. You see, even now, I mean, they can take the country back in two days. You remember Saddam Hussein? Saddam Hussein, he had way more powerful army than this Taliban stupid, you know, a bunch of savage. You know, the, did you see them going in the gym? Taliban in the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Taliban, he sees the gym for the first time in his life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pakistan is the factory of terrorism. Uh, in that area, at least. But anyway, you know, if the American they want, they can take over Afghanistan again in 24 hours. Saddam Hussein, I remember, he made a speech, and I remember the, the, the minister of... Uh, uh, information he was making a speech in the capital of Baghdad in the middle of the capital and he was saying to them in the TVs you know journalists we defeated the cows they called the American the cows we defeated them we killed a lot of them we destroyed their airplanes we are bringing victory by Allah and then the guy did not finish his word, and then there's a guy said to him, "Look, the American they arrive <laughs> in his back." <laughs> so an army of more than a million and a half soldiers collapse in less than 24 hours. This is what America can do. So those who say we have victory over America, America been defeated. You know, this is all is garbage. You know that is not true. The American they can wipe the whole country in two seconds. Little, literally, they can wipe, they can whip it from the earth. You know, they can take it, they can just delete it from the map. So don't don't go there. You know, be be thankful for those Muslims who come and they claim victory. That American are not like that. They are not evil like Taliban. Trust me, if Taliban is the one who have the power of America, they will they will eliminate maybe majority of of countries, including Islamic countries. Somebody saying we need a Trump. Eh. Trump is a potato, too. you know, we don't have real leaders for now. Trump, okay, the one who, uh, I voted for Trump. Well, didn't the Iranian, they hit our base and they injured more than 20 Marines and Trump, he made himself as he heard nothing. What Trump we would do? All of this is politics garbage, you know. Trump is the one who decided to leave, actually, before Biden. Biden is just doing what Trump, he decided to do. And the reason Trump he did decide that he is a businessman, he thought about it. I mean, for how long we will spend money in this corrupt government and corrupt employees who work for us? As you see, we bribe them to fight for us. We bribe them literally. the The president he just run with a with a with a, a, a lot of money in his airplanes. It's it's a corrupt country. What he can do? So the American they are being stupid, wasting their money, and this is our money. You know, those who pay tax is the one, a, a, a trillion dollar, not a billion. So you can say all of Afghanistan live by the income is coming from USA, including Taliban, because this money is going in the, in the, in the ground in the country. So Trump is a businessman. Trump is smarter than the rest. When it's come to business, he said to himself, what a stupid place to be. We are spending our money and we have to pay them to fight for their freedom. So he decided to leave and this is the right decision. So this should be happened long time ago. I mean, why you want to even stay in the ground? Osama bin Laden, he is not even there. And we found him in Pakistan and we feeded him for the fish. So why do we need to stay in Afghanistan? Actually, it's way easier to fight Taliban if they are a government from Taliban who they are gorilla fighters. Because now we know where is the palace of the president. 
if you play games now we know where the government is now they have army base now we can take them down so easy so they are not hiding in the villages between civilian no more so let them be a government and if they misbehave and they will you know you know beat the hell of them <laughs> anyway two trillion dollars okay thanks thanks to the smart american government <clears throat> but you know like me, me myself i learned uh, with, when i was in the army that the, the big generals who they uh, retired from the usa army after they retired they created or they create companies each one of them or a group of them and those they became contractors for the usa army and those are the one who will fight anyone in charge to take the war down because they are making a lot of money war in afghanistan need translators you know i remember once i've been offered two hundred ten thousand a year a year to go and work as a translator 210 and this is tax free tax free that's a lot of money so if they will pay me 210,000 to be just a translator how much the company they got paid the company will make at least $800,000 from me signing a contract with them so do you see how they rip out the, 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 the government why the government don't hire a person like me directly and pay me the 210 no they have to hire a general, a general contractor and he is a, an ex major general in the army he is the one who will recruit translators and he is the one who will sign the contract with you and then he is the one who will suck the blood of the government so war is a business and there is many they don't want this war to stop and now the generals in the army the big ones we're not talking about soldiers and normal officers okay now so what we would be without war like what the heck like what so where the money will come from how we can make billions and billions of dollars so now let us see who is the next target i'm sure i'm sure there's next target man look at this fighter how they make them tough in the, in the movie i mean this guy is the same guy there <laughs> oh boy anyway <clears throat> so uh, uh, they never do something right and the funny those actors they want to invite everybody to this country and they don't want to know what they want i mean the, the, our borders with mexico is open uh, uh everybody is welcome we do not need borders we do not need the security <laughs> we do not need <laughs> And the question is, as long as long those you know people there, uh, they deserve to come here, okay? I mean, are we choosing the quality of people who deserve to come here, or all the people there? What is the qualification for a person to come to the West? Nothing. You jump in the airplane, they put you in the airplane, and you know they take you. The one who hang himself, some they are lucky. Some they hang up in the wrong place, some they hang up in the tire, some they die. This is how desperate they are. But I don't blame them. I mean, it's a it's a you know it's a normal thing for every human being to seek a better life. That's that's very normal. It doesn't matter what religion is yours. You know, me myself, I am an immigrant. Why I came here? You know? Number one reason for me to come here is to have a better life, and better life for me is a freedom. There is something we cannot have in the Middle East. Even if I, if, if I wait for the coming billion year, Middle East is the land of hell. Why? Because of Islam. All the friends of USA, the one, like, like you know, Biden, he said, thank you, Qatar. Qatar, Qatar is the, fun, the fund of, of terrorism. Qatar is the, is the only one who have all those filthy Taliban living in, in their country. All the leaders that live in Qatar. And Biden saying thank you to Qatar. So here you see the, how, how, how the stupidity of this government work. If they want to fight Taliban really, they should take over Qatar. We do not need to invade Afghanistan. 
we need to take Qatar and put this prince in jail and take him to court for all the lives he killed. If you want to fight Taliban and Al-Qaeda and ISIS, you need to fight the one who fund them, the one who armed them, and we know them by name. Even Trump, he, when he was in the office, this coward, he says Qatar should stop supporting terrorism. Two weeks after, they rented a building from his son-in-law. Since then, he forgot about it. Since then, Qatar became a good country. All of us renew that all the terrorism in around the world is either funded by Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the one who armed them and deal with them is either Turkey or Pakistan. Now, for sure, there's many other countries, but those are the major ones. So, uh, they don't tell you the truth. An American president are no better than those actors they have two faces the real face is the one in the makeup this is the truth yeah exactly why those who they are living in afghanistan cannot go to saudi arabia why they cannot go to qatar why islamic countries don't take them they are muslims Tajikistan is in the border, few meters away. Why they have to come here? Why why are Dugan don't take them? Isn't he at the, the caliphate? And he loves Muslims and he protects Muslims? Why Azerbaijan don't take them? Where is the where is the Muslim, the great Muslim of Azerbaijan, brother? Nobody wants them. Muslims don't like to bring Muslims. And Muslims themselves don't like to go to Muslim countries. And you, you, I have to be honest here. The one in the makeup, she looked better than the original. Oh boy. Lord have mercy. So those actors who are crying for people of Afghanistan, people, you know, protect women in Afghanistan, Mr. President, okay, so shall we bring all the women of Afghanistan here? I have a solution. We bring all the women of Afghanistan and we, uh, you know, uh, and we send all our women there. And this is, you know, this is this is stupid. Not only Muslim would like to leave the Middle East and those countries, even Christians, everybody. If I go right now to Lebanon and say, "Hey, Lebanese, who like to leave Lebanon?" Trust me, the president will be the first one. <laughs> Hassan Nasrallah will be the first one. You know what I mean? If we say the head of the mullahs of Iran, if we give you a house in the beach of of uh, of Hawaii. Do you like to come? He would say, sure, you know, not even a beach, give me give me a couch there, I will go. Uh, if you go right now to Gaza and say, hey, people of Gaza, who like to go to America? Trust me, even the leader of Hamas will be the first one to jump in the airplane. <laughs> and the one that con one conditions, still we have to receive our money, brother, from the United Nations to support us because we are refugee. Right, so you know, I find that those actors and actresses who speak stupid things, very laughable and stupid, and they don't know what they are talking about. I find them that they are fit better in their mask, and uh, you know, the they, they look better when they are wearing the mask. You know, they look real in the mask more than when they are real without the mask. You know. I wonder if we make a mask for Biden, how he would look like. You know, if, if the Democrat decide to make Biden look tough, look what they can do. I mean, they are the best in the makeup. Aren't they? 
I mean this guy, they made him a hero. I mean this guy, he have a heart made from steel. I don't know, like he put it in his chest. He take it out. By the way, I used to do that before, huh? Sahih al-Bukhari, it's a true story, you know? Do you remember the story of the Prophet? You know, a, a peace upon him. They cut his chest and they took all the material and they wash it with Zam Zam and then they put it back and then he became super powerful, brother. This is the same story. I think it's actually, I think this guy, he took the story from uh, Prophet Muhammad, you know? They opened his chest and they took all the material I never saw, I mean, they, they are so good in fictions. And even their solution for war is fiction. Even their humanitarian solution is fiction and stupid. You know? Unbelievable. I mean, what happened to this guy? Honestly, I cannot believe it. Look at the right and look at the left. The guy in the right, he looked like the guy he went through tens of wars and he's so tough and he's like man and look look always in the movies they do this you know when you join the army they give you uh, like a, a piece of uh, metal have your number in it you know so like in case you are burned or killed or you know it's a war so and look they put this thing out I mean come on like hello And now he is the hero. I'm, I'm really convinced. I mean, come on. I bet you this guy, he will fart if he go in a fight. He will hide behind the table. But anyway, he's a hero in the movie. That's all what is needed. Tickle the fantasy of the mind of the customer. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you really long. Already our video for more than what? How, how long now? Um, 28 minutes. Okay, so the solution for what happened in Afghanistan is to leave Afghanistan to people of Afghanistan and stop being stupid. You have a chance to be there for 20 years. You, you spend your time building schools to teach Quran not to teach freedom, stupid American. All the schools the American they build in Iraq, in Somalia, in Afghanistan. Okay, you taught girls that they have their right, but still you did not teach them that the Quran is against their right. You did not teach the population that the problem we have, it is Islam. So all the time, and not only that, the president who run away is a mullah. The one before him, he's a mullah. All of them, they are drug dealer. The one who was a president in the, for USA and the Taliban, they are drug dealers. So you did not make any change in the society. If you want to fight Al-Qaeda, they are in Syria, hypocrite American government. There's more, there's tens of thousands of fighters in the north of Syria, and you are actually the one protecting them by allowing Erdogan to protect them. The Russian are not getting closer, the Syrian army are not getting closer to, 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 to uh, 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 Al Qaeda fighters there and ISIS fighters there. Why? Because uh, humanitarian, humanitarian, suddenly they like, you know, they care for a humanitarian. The truth is, they don't want the Syrian regime to take over the country and that will make them pain free. They want Al-Qaeda to be like a pimple in their, in their chest or like a knife in their, in their side. All this garbage we hear in the media have nothing to do with the truth. The truth is that America always they fight the wrong war. If you want to fight Osama bin Laden, when Osama bin Laden was in Tora Bora, why you did not use little nuke? Just little nuke, all Al Qaeda, there they are finished. There is no need for invading Afghanistan. No need. There's a small nukes, you know, and there's no civilian there. The area they were in, in the mountains, there is nobody there. It's just, uh, just them, you know, they run away to the mountains. 
finish the war. Show them that next time you do it, this is what we will do to you. And they will never, ever do it again. And actually, Taliban now, they're trying to present themselves as a civil, nice. You see, they don't want to practice all of this now, by the way. Like they are going, they are saying, we will not cut hands and we will not do stoning to death for adultery. So Taliban became a new Taliban, now became, became a half, a half shish kebab. And uh, maybe it is just a temporary thing until everybody accept them and then they go back to practice it. Maybe they are evil. But the question is, as long we are against human right violation, why we don't invade Turkey? Erdogan, he have hundreds of thousands of political prisoners. Including people who think garbage in the street, even those people, if they speak against him, he put them in jail. Teachers, doctors, engineers, officers, even the post office people, he put them in jail. If we are against violation of a human right, why we are a friend to the Saudi and to the Qatari, the terrorist, the prince of Qatar, the biggest terrorist ever in history, the money bag of the terrorist. Our war is not with Taliban. Our war is with the filthy garbage of Islam. That is the truth. And we are winning this war. What we do here is better than all the money the American they spent to fight what is called Taliban. You are fighting a ghost. Taliban is Russia. Uh, lover now suddenly Russian they love Taliban huh? why because the American they support the enemy of Russia you see what you do you see how stupid this government hmm. get ready you put sanction in the Russian uh, the Russian now they agree Taliban is fine the Chinese agree Taliban is fine because this stupid government they did not leave a friend for them or the West you know, the West is acting like a, like a, a mad cow. They don't want China to grow. Well, you cannot stop China from growing. They have the right to grow. Who are you? Why, why you can't grow, they cannot grow? Or we cannot let the Russian go stronger. How come you can go stronger, they cannot? Or we cannot have the Russian having influence. So how come you have influence everywhere? So the story has nothing to do really with all what they claim. It's a business and business only. The value is not what they are fighting for. And Taliban, they are drug dealers. They never really, they are, they are nothing but drug dealers, you know, bunch of bazi boys. Now they will bring the bunch of boys, they will put a makeup on them and they will make them dance for them. And then after that, they have sex with them. Taliban are not, you know, they claim to be religious. What religious? This is what, who they are. Go right now and search for bunch bazi BBC report. You will see the head of Taliban, they bring him a boy to dance for him. And after he finished dancing, he have sex with the boy. So this is not a war with Taliban. This is a war with right and wrong. And America is always wrong when it's come to fighting for right. They claim that they are fighting for freedom. But the fact all our friends are anti-freedoms all our friends not a single one of them and i'm talking about islamic countries is the king of saudi arabia who trump who was proud about him when he was giving him a check i mean isn't it a shame the president of usa he cared for a check it doesn't matter how big the check is one day income of new york airport is bigger than all of saudi arabia income for a year they worship money, those leaders. They don't care for God. They don't care for right. And Biden is no different. Biden's son is corrupt. Okay, I agree. But Trump kids are corrupt too. Everybody have a God. And those people, their God is money. So 
for the Muslims who say that you know we free, I, I saw the leader of Hamas saying, uh, in graduation, you know, you win a victory over the American, you stupid idiot. The American, they can wipe the whole country in two seconds. I mean, come on, all of us, we know it. I mean, the guys, they said we are leaving the country four years ago. Five years ago, actually. And now you claim victory. Even the, they are covered with their claims. The Mufti of Oman, the Mufti of Oman, he announced <clears throat> that glory to Allah, victory over the American. Let me see if I can find it in English. Saying, inshallah, we will free Jerusalem. <laughs> Go and get this guy. Somebody contact the CIA, the FBI, and tell the Oman to deliver this guy in 24 hours or else. This is how you can go after the terrorist. And you can. Look at this filthy scumbag. I mean, even his beard make him look like the devil. And he claimed that inshallah we will free Jerusalem soon inshallah yeah soon I mean it's just in the corner just join them coward so why the USA don't ask Oman to deliver this Osama bin Laden why they went to mute where is Biden how somebody praising people who killed American and he is the Mufti, which means the highest authority of religion. And how come the Sultan of Oman, who is your puppy, did not fire him from his job? Isn't the Sultan is your boy, American? Are you going to go blind? USA government is an atheist? No, that's not true. They are businessmen. It's not about atheist. America is the, the, uh, a big country and have everybody, have atheists, have Christians, but the majority for sure they are the Christians. And even there is many naive Christians, they vote for a uh, Democrat, a huge number, you know, because they are you know, like ignorant, I believe. But we are talking about the leaders who care only for making money and receiving offices and chairs, right? This is the truth. So anyway, this guy, he is uh, he's a praising of the Taliban for, uh, and uh, Haniya and many other uh, Islamic leaders. How come USA is not asking for them to be delivered? <clears throat> Why not? Can't we? We can send right now our dogs. We don't, don't send the Marines down. Send two you know, dogs, they grab him from his ass, bring him here, and put him in the court, and let him enjoy Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Summertime. <laughs> Get him. This is how you can fight the terrorists. Those are the real terrorists. Those are the one behind terrorism. Anyone who says something, you know, praising terrorism, Go after the Sultan says, hey, listen, this guy, he did this. You have 24 hours to deliver him to us. Otherwise, else. And don't go for war. Put sanctions in the country, he will collapse in two days. Already, already the kingdom of Oman is bankrupt. Literally bankrupt. The same as Erdogan. The same as Erdogan. You can, you can, you know... You can, you see, America, the, the, it's very powerful to the point. 
they can't really make any country collapse without war. With an exception for sure, like China and Russia, because they are very powerful. And they don't even, I mean, the sanctions will not really affect them too much. I mean, Russia, they can close their borders for a century, and they do not need to buy even a matchbox from outside. But other countries, no. Other countries, they will not even have authority to have banks, to have tr money transfer, if, if USA didn't agree. They will not even have internet. They will not have a trade. Nobody will buy and sell from them. Look what happened to Syria. Poor, you know, poor, the poor Syrian, because of the sanctions of USA, they are dying. There's no electricity. There is no water. The government cannot afford even to pay for anything. If not the money is coming from Iran, this country is, is gone a long time ago. And Iran itself, the sanctions is destroying the country. Even though the, the, the Russians are opening, you know, by the help of the Turkish, opening the borders for them to, to, to smuggle a lot of things which they are not allowed to have. So if USA decide to fight terrorism, they can fight terrorism without even war. And use force when you need it. But don't go in the ground. There's no need. Actually, soon our army. Why is USA interfering with our other countries? That's a good question. My friend, it is not USA who's interfering with other countries. It's other countries interfering, interfering with USA. Because in case you do not know, my friend, your name is Rajaf. Don't you know that even your country, India, need the assistance of USA? It is you, my friend, and those countries who come to USA asking for help. Nobody give money for free. When somebody give you money, they want something in return, and the return is influence. All the countries in the Middle East, all of them they are Islamic countries, they get assistance from USA. Egypt, even Saudi Arabia. Actually, name one country, don't get and receive money from USA. Around the world. There is a system program to China. You see, even the, the, the virus which is spread all over, even that laboratory is paid by USA. Can you believe it? So, it is you who cannot live without, without USA. And then you wonder why USA is interfere, interfering. They pay you money. They need a, there is something in return always. There's nothing for free. Nothing for free. Why do you think people did not just go and dump their money to help you? And if you like to be independent, don't don't ask them for money and don't ask for assistance and don't ask for the airplanes and don't ask for the weapon and don't ask for the protection. It's a bit it's, it's a kind of a destiny for you, I say, to be interfering everywhere because it is the major power, it is number one powerful country in the world. This country can wipe the whole earth. Literally. This country control your internet. This country control now you are you are in Google. Everything you are using is owned by USA. All the internet, everything in the internet, every single thing in the internet is copyrighted owned by USA at the end of the day. So why you are surprised, my friend? Right? I bet you USA is paying you too. Well, that's the most stupid thing ever. Right. Guys, I bet you USA is paying you too. <laughs> well, my friend, I live in USA, an American citizen. <laughs> You're a dummy. <laughs> Not only that, I was, in, I was in the USA Army too. Does that make you more angry now? <laughs> so, literally, they paid me salary yes, when I was a soldier. <laughs> Big salary, my friend. I mean, American soldiers, by the way, they have the little tiny salary. And many people think if you join USA Army, you will think like, you know, you will get a good salary. I mean, come on, this is the American Army. It's not. Yeah, anyway. But this is very silly of you to say, I bet you the American are paying you too. Why not? It's my country. And not only that, people from around the world, they pay me too. Or is that making you angry more? Hmm? 
Hey people, who wanna pay me? Unbelievable. Anything they hear, you know, like the Muslims always they say, do you remember the Shia Shia Sheikh in ABN TV? They bring me this potato, the Shia Sheikh. What's his name? Hish, uh, Hisham. Hisham. This was this guy. He was a consultant for George Bush. Imagine the stupid George Bush. He hired this one as a consultant, you know, just to make them recruit, you know, the fighters from the Shia, so they can go. Not fighters, sorry, uh, translators from USA uh, to go and join the USA army as translators. This guy, he start nice. You know, we Christian, we Muslims and Christians, we are like brothers and sisters. We celebrate many occasions together. Go watch it, it's translated. This is the beginning. Like, you know, the, the, you know the, the, the comedy like before and after? 15 minutes after this guy is crying and he starts saying, you are a Zionist. You are a Zionist. You are paid by the Zionist. Like, what the heck? The second you say something about Islam, they say to you, you are a Zionist. When their God himself is a Zionist. Is it your God, he says? to the Jews, go and enter the Holy Land, which Allah has assigned to you, Jews? Who is the Zionist? Huh? Is that your God? The potato God? The zucchini God? I like the zucchini God. He have obsession with zucchini. I mean, when a God, he promised you, you will have endless penis. I mean, I don't know what to describe that. I mean, even how Allah, he come to his mind, such an imaginary to promise it, like endless penis. So the leader of Taliban now, he will make a speech. By Allah, Allahu Akbar, we are going to have all of us in this penis and the American penis will be very very short <laughs> look 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 at George Bush's uh, penis is very short look at our penis is English this is this is Islam and this is why those poor Muslims are desperate to leave you see the hypocrisy of Muslims is the following they don't want the true Islam they want they say we are, we are Muslims but they don't want they don't want Islam you bring those tens of thousands from the airport of Afghanistan. You ask him, what is your religion? He will say to you, I'm a Muslim. But you just run away from Islam. This is the truth. You just run away from Islam. How you say I'm a Muslim? If you ask this uh, kid, Sheikh Othman, in, uh, live in San, De San Diego. <laughs> Hey, by the way, you live in a, in a you live in a in a saint city. It's called San, his name is San Diego. <laughs> uh, are you a Muslim? Is what's why you don't go to Taliban? Why you don't make a video that says praise be to Allah? You know we defeated the American. Oh, because he's wearing a burqa. He's a potato coward. Actually, I challenge him to make a video saying he is with or against Taliban. That's it. Don't make a don't say I don't support. I don't no 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 no. Either you say I am with the Taliban or I am with the American. If you don't say anything, it's mean you are a, you are a burqa boy. He's a burqa boy anyway. So the story is very simple. <clears throat> uh, are we approaching fast toward the rupture? My friend, don't think about those things. You see, anyone who, who tell you like, oh, soon the judgment day, soon, you know, those I see many people, they do that, my friend. Don't, don't go there. First, this is not our business. A believer is a believer. If the judgment day is tomorrow or yesterday, happen already, you know, or will happen next thousand years or will happen wherever. Who cares? So don't think about it. Let what to God to God and do your business. When the judgment day will happen, this is God's work, not yours. For you, be ready. Don't be like those Afghani running running for the airplane in the last moment. Why did they not fight for their freedoms? Why did they not uh, you know take take weapon? Just few weeks before Taliban arrived to Kabul, more than 30, 40, you can search on YouTube, 30,000 people with guns goes in Kabul in the street. Where are they? Where did they disappear? Phony people. So just don't be phony. 
So when the Lord they come, let it be. You remember the Bible story about the virgins who they are, some they have oil in their lamp and some they don't. And a Muslim, he says, virgin now. Abdul, this is a parable. <laughs> we don't have those versions, the one you have in Muhammad, you know, the propaganda machine. So the one she have oil in her lamp is the one who will be seen. You are in the dark and your lamp, you have a lamp, but there's no oil in it, which means there's no light. So don't worry about those days and don't follow those who say to you, judgment day is coming, prophecy happened here, prophecy happened there. Those are just making excitement, sadly, for maybe for the fool. There's no prophets. The prophets already, they, they came and that's it. All those who come and prophesy for you, okay, let me prophesy for you. I, I feel like being prophet today. Okay, later I will take a shower. How I know? Okay, hold on, I'll give you a more hard one. I mean, this is easy. Okay, let me think about a tough one. Okay, today a lot of women, they will have delivery to give babies, to give birth. How I know that? Take beer. Okay, hold on. I have even bigger one. I just, I just receive inspiration from Allah. Right now, as we speak, there is a chicken. It's, no, it's not a chicken. Hold on. And the vision is not clear. Uh, it's a Taliban chicken. Sorry, a Taliban chicken. She is giving birth to a Taliban egg. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, people are so naive, my friend. They are just desperate. You know, you go, you go and see those articles or the titles of the videos. Like, you know, just uh, two days ago, we made a video about I found the Mount of Sinai in, in, in Japan. I mean, this is what they do. I mean, just to get, get attraction of the fool, something strange. So, discovery, we found the Mount of Sinai in where? In Saudi Arabia, Takbir. And all the Christians, they go there. Really, you found it? Where, 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 where? How, oh, where, where, where? Can you show me where? Huh? Oh, the Saudi Arabia, they have a fence around it. This is the proof. Yeah, stupid people. I mean, in the Bible, it says the Mount of Sinai, and then you look for it in Saudi Arabia. It says the Mount of Sinai. It is in Sinai. Crazy people. It's like I say to you, in 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 the uh, uh, let us say uh, which 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 territory let us see yeah let us say uh, the Prophet Muhammad his uh, uh, his uh, they found one of his testicles in Shishinia, and then another guy he make a video we found the testicle of the Prophet appearing in uh, uh, New Zealand the Shishinia to use now what happened oh the Prophet testicles are so big they can be seen from far distance and they and they because they are round and big brother they can like go and you know they maybe flip around and they went to New Zealand so don't let those fool you know those people fool you with those titles and they and they put those uh, edited Photoshop uh, somebody's mouth is open like whoa you know and then the guy he looked like what happened he click or a guy he capture a lizard and he make the picture of the lizard in the size of alligator and people they click in the picture, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you remember the guy who made a book about Islam? Obviously, he's a fraud, and he 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 he, he translated a video. No, he did not translate. He he brought a video about two people are fighting, and supposedly they are fighting about his book, but the fact they are not. So people don't know Arabic. So he put in the title. Do you know that this book? It is in Amazon, it's called etc. And, and, and people, they start buying this book like crazy. The trick, the deception was successful. And people go and buy the book. And the, the book is nothing but, but a collection of stupid things. So don't be a fool. Actually, when I see those uh, images, I don't click at the video. The second I see those images, it means that the video is stupid. I'm not going to mention the videos of like, you see, I like sometimes to watch uh, uh, like, you know, people living in the world, uh, you know, like going back to the old days, villages, etc. 
But if you search right now for Epic of a Grid, let me just to show you how, how corrupt a human being is, how disgusting. I mean, I'm searching for off a grid, all right? When you search for off a grid, what you expect? You expect somebody growing chicken, somebody have, uh, this is off a grid, look at this, a naked woman, look, look at this. This is off a grid. This is how they get the click. 589,000, how much that naked woman? This is 20, 57k 22 hours ago. You know, I, I, there's a picture I can show you actually. Sorry, I can scroll down. There is something really very bad. So, off a grid, in order to get people to click, they put naked women in the picture or two girls kissing each other. And then people they click. So don't be one of those, don't be silly, don't be stupid. This became a business, there's many people that are doing this. Or uh, cooking with the bikini. I mean, she cannot cook without wearing the bikini, come on. I mean, the recipe, the recipe says, when she opened the book of the recipe, it says, first, wear your bikini. I mean, how she can cook without the bikini? I mean, think about it. This is all is Islam, my friend. All this garbage is Islam. It's Muhammad, he is the first one who used the clickbait method. But it was no images, you know, like fantasy images in the in the brain. Versions, their vagina is so good, so beautiful. Their breast is so big. You know, I mean, come on, big breast. Okay, you know, oh, let me let me ask you, which one you prefer, chicken breast or turkey breast? For sure, the turkey breast is bigger. You know. So the clickbait filth is a is an illness. You know, it's a sickness, and this is a practice in Islam. So don't support those people. They don't support their faith by being filthy. Don't click in their video because there's a woman bending over. The second you do that, it means there is there is something wrong with you. I know you cannot avoid seeing the thumb because it's going to be there when you are, you know. Like if you serve, if you watch once of those videos like uh, off a grid, then YouTube will start suggesting for you any videos contain off a grid. And in those videos, you will find many of them, they have those images. Don't click on them, you know, don't let the devil fool you. Don't go there. Muhammad, he used it. It's a failure. It's a lack of ethic. It's a stupid. There's nothing good there. You see, if they have something good in the video, they will not use that image. Don't we agree? A good quality story do not need a filthy image. Do we agree? If the story is so good, why I need such an image? You see, I, I, like when I was a kid in the Middle East, you know, at that time we go to the movie, right? So when there's a movie and the movie showing like uh, panties and etc., and they put the pictures outside and the movie in the in the wall outside thousands of Abdul they want to join the movie when the movie is about Islam about Allah the movie theater is empty when there is an actress or etc showing their panty and their ass and their breast I mean you go you walk in the street you get scared like what's what, what's going on why all those the whole city there the whole town want to see the movie because at that time, it's not like now, you have YouTube and TV, there's satellite and you know, all those madness. At that time, this is the only way, the only place is that you can see those things. So thousands of people there. And then things get it, getting better, you know, Islam getting better. So Islam bring, a, by the way, do you know that uh, the Prophet of Allah, he predicted satellite? Did you see the video? <laughs> Prophet of Allah predicted satellite, brother. True story, brother. True story. 
I remember once, you know, in the Middle East, you have like roof. Roof is like from cement, like in, like, like in USA. And, you know, you make a additional yard in the top of the roof where uh, you have like a sink, uh, a faucet, you can make coffee, you have a, a burner, you know, like to, to make tea or coffee, etc. So one day I was there and I look the neighbor next to me, the one and down, the other one, 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 the other one. I mean, the whole city is in this in the roof. And all of them, they are working in this light, changing direction. So what's happening? I went downstairs, I look at the satellite we have, it's working fine. There's no problem. You know, CNN is working, Fox News is working. You get all the American channels there all for free. Uh, so why it's not, uh, why everybody... And then afternoon, I went, you know, like with kids of my age, I was a teenage. They told me, did you change the satellite direction? I said, what, well, change it where? They said, the whole city, you were changing it because the porn station are not there no more. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> the porn stations, they are not in that direction no more. The sheikh of the mosque, I see him in the top. He was asking his son, is it coming? Should I go to the left? Go to the right? The whole town is in the roof. And everybody is religious. Everybody is religious. It's a religious town, brother. Very religious. Extremely. Yeah. Did you change the satellite direction? Hmm? Well, I put it in the Quran. I wonder how many people are getting excited now. And I don't even know how to write this word. Hold on. Volo up volo up to us? Like what the heck? Volo is that like volleyball or something like you know? Vo, volo, volo, but you know what? Breast command, my come on, for, I forget, man. I'm going to read this word. I mean, this word I need like a training for the coming century to read. Vo, I mean, this English is really weird. I mean, they could not find a word better than this word. All of this to describe breast, volo, it's not like a train. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are long, those breasts. That's why they choose this word. Vol, vol up, ah, because they go up like boing, 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 you know. Vol up to us. Is that like octopus? I got it. I was like, I don't know, like, but now you see, I did use my, like, uh, my extra <clears throat> brain. <laughs> The one I got, the got from the surgery of a plastic surgery of Jibril, and he installed extra faith and uh, wisdom, you know. I mean, have you ever heard of a wisdom coming in a chest in a dish? Do you see, do you see how sensitive the area of the breast for Allah? Allah, he installed the, the, the wisdom in the chest of Muhammad. Vol lump thus. Okay, Robert. Oh, don't worry, my friend. I'm just joking. I don't know how to read it anyway, and I don't want to learn it. I'm not interested. I'm not going. I'm not going to use it in real life anyway. What I would say, hey, police officer, <laughs> why I want to use this word anyway? <laughs> Give me a break. I don't want to use it. I don't want to learn it. You know. But anyway, praise be to Allah. I mean, look, there's big breast, and next to them there's a cup, and it's full to the brim. Brin, brin, oh, you remember the cartoon when the uncle of Tom and Jerry, you know, the Tom or Jerry, uh, he come and uh, uh, they want to play guitar and then the guitar line break and he take it from the cat mustache. I mean, to the brim what Allah was thinking. So now Taliban, they are thinking, Allahu Akbar, we are going to get Faltabadatos, women, breast, and they are, and we are going to drum, the, 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 the drum, what drum? What's wrong with you? I mean, what kind of English is you are learning? And, and cup of full to the brim. I mean, listen, we have to be honest. Allah, he think about all details. I have to have to be full to the brim. It's not like in the restaurant these days, like if you, you ask them for a cup of juice, they bring it to you, it's like not even, not even in the bar. 
I like last time I order uh, a coffee, you know, uh, and I look, where is the coffee? I mean, it's not even like two split and that, but, but, but where is the coffee? Allah is generous. He's generous, very generous. The cup is full to the brim, the same as the breast. <laughs> they are full to the brim. Oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> can you say one good thing about Islam? Well, I can say many good things actually. Here we go, we are laughing. Is it good to laugh? Look, if we don't have such a God, look, look at this, look at this. The Muslim, they say that when the Arab, they saw the Quran, they were like amazed. Like their mouth, like, wow, you know, open, like, you know, reaction to see the, the hearing the Quran. Do you see those videos? Stupid, you know, look at this. It says here, and they treated our sign as false. Like what? So nobody was like amazed. Nobody was amazed. They laugh at it. And then, and all things we have preserved on record. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Actually, I can give the question to the Abdul in the chat. Any Abdul can give us something good about Islam. Actually, this was my copy, my my topic for today. Any, any Muslim can tell me one good thing about Islam besides Taliban, you know, I mean Taliban is good for sure, you know hmm? Anyone who was a Muslim can You know tell us something good about Islam. Uh, I will tell you something good about Islam. Actually in Islam you can learn many tricks <clears throat> Yeah, actually I saw yeah, I, you know, I did not see I see the news a, a woman, she was making something, a video in, in the in the in the park. Savage, 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 garbage Islam, you know. So they attack her, they strip her from her clothes, they start touching her. Hundreds of men, very filthy country. Thank God, I don't live in this filthy society. A woman, she is making a video, and you know, she thinks she live in a country of a, you know, and there is a human being around her. They are zombie beast. Poor women. What you expect? And they want to bring them here. And notice, by the way, that those cowards, when they come here, they behave like why? Why Sheikh Uthman don't go and beat women who they are showing their face? At least Muslim women. Why he don't do that? Because he's a potato. He don't dare. So when they are here, they act like cats. Why you don't practice Sharia law? Do you dare? He don't dare. He's a coward. He's double standard, like he's a prophet. So, uh, going back to our topic here. Look at this verse in the Quran, how powerful it is. There is not an animal that lives between two. Look, I mean, look how genius this translator. Brother, focus with me. There is not an animal that lives, not the one who died. We're not talking about the dead one. Okay, please. Don't think about the dead one. It's not. It's haram. You idiot. Why you are saying that, that lives? On earth. That's deep. Animals who live in earth. You know what? I thought animals they live in the in Mars too. I saw one. I mean, last time I was in my flying carpet. Okay, nor being that it flees on its wings. Okay, but there are communities like you look at the wisdom. Look, Muhammad now is being Buddha. Nothing have we omitted from the book. Like what? And they all shall be gathered to their Lord at the end. Allah, Allah is going to judge between two goats. Actually, they asked Muhammad, are, is Allah going to judge between two goats are fighting? He said, absolutely. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> is that true, Muslims? Is that true or making things up?
Is that true? Do you remember the, the story of uh, the monkey? Who, the female monkey, the very filthy monkey. I don't respect her no more. I used to respect monkeys, but you know, this female monkey, you know, I don't, that's it. She was blonde, you know. This female monkey, brother, she was living in Taliban town. And she cheated her husband. And then the brothers Taliban, they stoned her for fornication. I mean, look at those Taliban. They have sex with the boys after they dance for them, Badza Bachi, whatever they call them. But then if you have sex with the women, they will, they will stone you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy. And look, this guy is telling the truth. By the way, this is not the whole story. The story, the story is long. The story is, if you have my book, Six and Allah, you will have it. That this female monkey, her husband, was sleeping over her arm. Look how romantic. Look how beautiful. You have a wife and you are Mr. Chapanzi. Just close your eyes. Especially if you look like a Chapanzi, you know, close your eyes and imagine this. You are under the tree. And you are sleeping over the arm of your beautiful Chapanzi wife. And then suddenly, another chimpanzee he come from behind the tree. <laughs> you know, he speak to her with the language of uh, horny chimpanzee. They have a special language, you know, as Allah is in the Quran. And then, brother, he show her a banana, big banana. Chimpanzee, female chimpanzee, could not resist the temptation. So she smuggled her hand under the arm, under, under her the head of uh, her husband, and she went behind the tree, and they did the cuckoo cuckoo. And she came back, and the husband did not notice anything. She put her hand under his head; he did not notice anything. But then Allah he inspired him, and he smelled. He starts sniffing her private part. You know they do that. These monkeys, you know. And he smelled sperm. He starts screaming, take beer, take beer, take beer. And all Taliban town, they came and they put this female monkey into court of Sharia law. And they stoned her to death for fornication. Allahu Akbar. Muslims believe in the most absurd, like absurd, stupid belief. As an example, is Allah going to judge between flies? Flies, flies. Maybe I should make a video about it. Hold on, let me search for a picture of fly because many of you do not know what fly look, especially if you live in America. I mean, when the last time I saw a fly here? I miss them. In the Middle East, they are all over. Uh, Okay, here we go. This is a fly. And just to refresh your memory, in case you're not, you know. You know what? This is this is a this is a bite click, or bait click. What they call it? Bait bait click. I mean, why people they put like a, a woman wearing panties or people click? Just put a fly. Trust me, they will come. They like garbage. So, Allah, brother, will judge between the flies I mean when you hear this you think Muhammad like was a Buddha was very spiritual he's not a child molester he's not a criminal he don't cut arms and feet and legs he don't put nails in the eyes of people Allah will, ju will judge brother between flies that's deep that's deep. I mean, we have, we have, okay, well, you know what? If there is any Muslim here saying that's not true, 
If there's any Muslim, I, I, I don't know, I have a feeling that a Muslim saying this is not true. If there is any Muslim saying this is not true, Okay, hold on. Not true, huh? Okay, you're accusing me of lying. Take a beer. Well, this is the Quran, chapter 81, verse number 5. Chapter 81, verse number 5. Are we taking a reference? And now we go to Ibn Kathir. 81, 5. <sighs> well, I mean, 81, 81, 81. Michael Ashraf, Sarah Michael Ashraf. You know, Sarah, don't talk about coward. The coward is the one who teach men to beat a woman like you. That is the coward. Because real men don't beat women. And your prophet is a coward. Praise be to Allah. So this is a chapter of a taqweer, chapter 81, and this is verse number one. Oh, hold on, this is a, a verse number one here, yeah? But we want verse number five. But anyway, the, the interpretation is going to include in this page. Let us see. where it says I hope you did not take it off because sometime in English translation they take it off uh, here we go Read carefully. Ibn Abbas said, everything will be gathered, even flies. It, what? Everything will be gathered, even, even flies. Say, any Muslim? Is that true? Allah will judge in the judgment day, even the flies? Why, why, what they did? Be honest with me. Any Muhammadan can tell us? Do you have a friend? Uh, hobbies, are you at the computer making videos, laughing? Okay, somebody have a question. Uh, very serious question. Yeah. Just to show you the intelligence of some people, brother. Have men locus saying the following, brother. Christian friends, I have a question. Do you have friends, hobbies, or you are at your computer 24 hours a day making videos laughing crazy people like a Dracula and Frankenstein you stupid donkey son of Muta is, is it you in the computer right now secondly I did not show up for the last two days you stupid idiot and as long you don't like what I do while you are here I will tell you why because you have no hobbies you have no friends and your wife she kicked your ass and she left you for a different husband is that why you are here? I'm just using your analogy, you know, I mean, your logic. This is your logic. For me here, I'm laughing at religion because that's what I do. I teach people. You are here for what reason? To make a stupid comment, so I will make you famous. Here we go, you made your like, Your name is Hembe, Heberman, Locus. Is that like a disease or something happened after an accident? I mean, this name. I mean, like your mom, she give it to you or what? Do you own it or you bought, you bought it? I mean, do you have a license for it? 
Uh, just questions like the questions you gave me, stupid idiot. So as you see here, <clears throat> flies, flies, my friend, those are flies, a human being. Some of them, they look like a human, but they are like flies. Everything will gather, even flies. You know, I would love to see Allah judging the mosquitoes. Mean, I hate them. Blood for blood. Blood for blood. God will bring all the mosquitoes. Allah, not God. Hold on. Allah will bring all the mosquitoes. And she will say to him, he will say to her, did you take a Christian prince blood? She will say yes, but you have no idea what happened to me. Because there is a guy, his name is Herman Locus. He told me to go and bite him. And then after I bite him, I got poison in my blood. I made a surgery and then I lost my kidney. And then I have heart attack and then I died. <laughs> True. Mosquitoes, they bite me, they flip in their back immediately. She is saying the truth. Arabian blood to the bones like mosquito she bite you like and her tongue come out you know like she's dead <laughs> he got her you know like we don't we don't kill them in the Middle East you know we you know we are Arab so we are Arab we let the mosquitoes come and stand in your skin don't move or you know don't move so because she was she will bite you know and she like now she's enjoying you know it doesn't take her even two seconds after that she flipping her back and her legs is up praising Allah and she give a finger to Allah because you have to give a finger for Allah and then she is died and her tongue is out Alhamdulillah true story by the way true story those are true stories I'm not I'm not I mean the Muslim they say Christian prince is lying I mean all the stupid things we see in the front of us they say Christian prince is lying what to you mahshura and even the birds will be gathered for judgment day, brother. Chickens. Okay, okay. Why, why, why? Hold on. It, uh, chicken. Hold on. We cannot listen to you this way. You have to speak slower because our translator. We are using Google translation for a chicken. We cannot. Okay. Listen. No. We. Oh, chickens. Don't talk all of you together. We will hear you. Allah is all hearing. Allah is all hearing. Okay. Allah will judge between the chicken. What a dummy religion. Anyway, true story. I mean, true story. Why not? We have, you know, we have, we have to consider the truth there. I mean, there's a lot of truth. You know? Yeah. They don't lie. Very truthful. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see here. I bought, uh, I ordered a stick from Amazon. Honestly, it's, it's coming today. Actually, it should be here yesterday. The day before, actually. No, no, the day before. But because it's a stick, it's an important stick. Uh, You know, after I learned <clears throat> that there is a beast will come from the ground. And this is in the chapter of the ants. And this beast, brother, is going to speak Quran. Like this beast was standing in front of you. You know, okay. But this beast is going to have a stick with her. And this beast, her name is a Jassasa. Look at the name. Look at the name. <whistles> Something very special. And this Jassasa brother is going to hit you with the stick in your nose. Here we go, violence again. And then will create a black spot in your face. And then you will be black. What? My dream will come true. Finally, I will be black and I will have a girlfriend. Are you kidding me? So Allah, brother, 
he will have us punished and he will make us all of us black look at this a punishment how lovely i love africa what's wrong with being black abdul if there's any abdul can tell us how come being a black is a punishment in islam brother i thought islam is like it, black people huh? you lie to the black people huh you lie to them so let's go there this is ibn kathir chapter 27 verse number 82 Yeah, what's wrong with this website? All right, 82. Brother, read carefully with me, brother. Fantastico. Brother. The beast, brother, will come and is going look at the description of the beast hold on hold on its head is like a head of a bull its eyes like the eyes of a pig its ears like the ears of an elephant its horn like an horn of a stag its neck like the neck of an ostrich its chest like a chest of a lion its color like the color of, of a tiger its hinges like the hinges of a cat it is tail like the tail of a ram <laughs> <laughs> I need a break. I don't really know why. What is that, man? Is that the whole zoo mixed in one machine? I think Allah was making a smoothie. He put all the animals in the zoo and he put them in the smoothie machine and we come with this beast. Look, it's a cat, it's an elephant, it's a lizard, it's a pig, it's a bull, it's a cow, it's a horse, it's a donkey. I mean, it's, it's tail like a tail of a ram. <laughs> it's like, like a leg of a camel. Like what? Between each pair joint of a distance of a 12 cubit, like what? Look how big, man, like so good. It will bring out the staff with the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. Look, Allah will never send the beast without the kajit. Kajit. Allah will give the beast the kajit. And what is the kajit, brother? The staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. That's getting dangerous. The American government is busy with Taliban now. Aren't you aware of the ring of the Lord of the Ring? This is what you are worried about, seriously? Do you know what this ring can do? Somebody called the president. You know the thing, president. I mean, you know the thing. Call him, tell him, you know the thing? Uh, the thing is there, you know, like uh, there's that. Somebody told me that, the, uh, you know, the thing. Yeah, like, the, you know, there's a danger of the thing, you know? So, uh, you know, if, you know, in case the, the thing is uh, happening, so, you know, the, the thing. So, you know, we like, we, you know, it's uh, in case, you know, the thing, you know, happen. And Joe Biden, trust me, will understand you. Just don't say anything except the thing. I mean, this guy, he fit to be president. Actually, he's top number. Uh, the only one who can compete with Muhammad is uh, Joe Biden. I, I mean, face it or, or take it or leave it. Okay, just call him and tell him the, the, the ring is in the control of Taliban now. <laughs> they will come with the beast from the ground. You know, the Muslims are making uh, a comment, uh, angry. why are you angry from me? I mean, refute me. You see, I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of stupid stories. Why are you upset? Do you know what upset me? up and said that's Allah where is Allah is up what he's doing he said <laughs> as the Muslim they say to you Allah is upset this is what upset me upset he got up and he sat on the chair like what the heck we go back to the topic we know that the Christians missionaries is working working with Biden and Chinese community to take Afghan land by sand a missionary with Islamic custom. Okay, Omar, okay. You know, you, you are you know it all of Omar, I noticed that you are I think you are Al Bukhari. Aren't you? Be honest with me. I think you are I think you are coming from Mars too. So we go back to the ring and the Lord of the Ring. Look at this. Me. 
this guy who made this film movie he for sure he was watching the Quran so brother we go back to the topic brother okay so this beast brother will come with the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon and then will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face what all the believers like what so he will hit you with the ring of Moses or the you know but it depends in the situation and you will uh, if you know the little white spot in your face and then your face will turn to be so only all your body the white spot will spread all over and the result will be so white and so shiny takbir so now all Taliban are blonde and now it's our turn the one who don't believe in the kissing black stones if you don't worship the black stone kiss it and lick it Allah will punish you and then there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face which will spread until his face is black as a result look at the result I hate this result I don't hate to be black but I hate the result I mean only my face what about my body are you making fun of us uh, different story says all all of you don't worry not only your face all of you you will be black so don't worry be happy I mean you don't want to go to the beach and you have like a part of your body is dark and the other part is not like hello look at the genius Allah so Allah he hate us because we don't believe in him so he made our face black look how racist no, his Allah is not racist Allah here considering the black color as a penalty, isn't it? Do we have anyone here he claimed to be a black Muslim? How anyone he is black he can believe in such a garbage cult? Hmm? Honestly, how anyone he is black can believe in such a garbage? This is nothing but racism, ugly racism. The penalty for those who don't believe in Islam to be black and those who are Muslim to be white, as simple as that. Hmm? And then, brother, when people they sit together, how do they recognize each other from believer, not believer? If your face is a black, they will say, Oh, this believer. If your face is white, they will say, Oh, believer. See it? <sighs> do we have any Abdul? Thank God I'm not a believer in this filthy God. And finally, one day I will have a black skin. Man. <clears throat> what kind of cult this cult is? And then they say to you that Islam is anti-racism. You are right. And they quote for you a hadith Muhammad said, which is a fake hadith, by the way. The funny, the fake hadith, they quote it everywhere. The one which is not true, it's authentic. And the one is authentic, they call it not authentic. Right? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Didn't you have enough, guys? I think you had enough, right? So, I say about our topic today. Our problem is not Taliban. Our problem, we are not fighting the real enemy. And the real enemy is Islam. You will not stop having terrorism and terrorists as long as people believe in the cult of Muhammad. As simple as that. Why it's so hard to understand? The problem is not Taliban. The problem is Islam. The problem is not Al-Qaeda. The problem is Islam. The problem is not ISIS. The problem of Islam. What all of them they share in common? Islam. What all of them they share in act? Muhammad practice. Slaughtering, raping, kidnapping, cutting hands, cutting fingers, burning people alive. The problem is not those names. You are fighting the wrong enemy. The, re uh, the real enemy is Islam. Sorry, my, th my throat is going dry. Let me drink. This is water or camel urine? Uh, this is water.
Dr. Muhammad, he prescribed for us the camel urine. It's the most healthy. I mean, this religion, this is the only cult in the world. Forbid wine and allow drinking. Okay, you go to the bar. What is in the bar? Camel urine. <laughs> the, camel, the camel urine bar. Man, I want to open one in Las Vegas. Who want to support my project? Or, or what do you think about we open a drive through breastfeeding for adult? I mean, this is in Las Vegas. We'll do like we'll go boom, you know, and then we open franchise like everywhere. Taliban, you know, Afghanistan, Af Pakistan, everywhere, you know, drive through breastfeeding. And then Aisha, she said to us, Brother and Titar, the Prophet, he received a revelation from Allah of verses of 10 times breastfeeding for adult. That's deep. This is the only true God. Only true God can do that. Allah, he went to his office. He thought about what I will send them today. What I will send them today? Mm, okay, I will tell the Muhammad to order women to do breastfeeding for adult ten time. How exciting! Man, I cannot wait. Mean, and Allah He sends Zabril, and Zabril He come to Muhammad. Hey Zabril, Muhammad, open the door. You know, he really just fixed his teeth, so he's like, he's, you know, he don't know how to say the word correctly. Open the door! Who's this? I'm Zabriel! He says, Jibril, ماذا أتى بك يا هذا? هل أنت أتيت من بغداد? Jibril, he said, I don't speak Arabic, please! I'm from Afghanistan, and I don't speak Arabic. Okay, so, Zabriel, what do you have for me? I can recite it for you, but I don't understand it. Allah order you to order women to do breastfeeding for adult in time. Alhamdulillah. Take care. <laughs> it's a fake hadith. What is the fake hadith and real hadith? There is nothing it's called fake hadith. You see, all what they call it fake hadith. All what they call it fake hadith. Is any, anything is embarrassing. And the funny, the one they reject, if it is not embarrassing, they say now it is authentic. So they are flipping things upside down. But focus with me here now. I don't know. You know what? I don't want to make the same mistake. I, when I was making a speech in India, this is a long time ago, like 3,000 years ago. Not 3,000. Let me remember the date exactly. It's brilliant. It can inspire me. I think 3,000 years and... 3,028 years and 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Yeah, I remember now. So I was making a speech in the front of a bunch of Hindus. I mean, not a bunch. I mean, there's like tens of thousands. And then I told those Hindus, by mistake, a stupid mistake, I told them, do you know what is the biggest chapter in the Quran? They said, no. I said to them, do you know that it is the cow chapter? Brother, the second I said the cow chapter, everybody converted to Islam. So I went there to make a seminar to make people not to believe in Islam. By mistake, I made all those tens of thousands. Man, I was so upset. They said, are you serious? The biggest chapter in the Quran is called the cow chapter? Mm. You, don't, you don't say that in India. I will never do it again. You know? By the way, Muslims, why it's called the cow chapter? Forget about the press video for adult now. I'm not hungry. But why they call it the cow chapter? Ah, uh, uh -huh, because Allah told Musa to beat a dead guy with the beef. And then he will come back to life. Look how deep. Look how deep. In the other day, I went to the F F FVI head quarter, okay? True story, true story. And then I asked the FBI agent and the head of Qatar, what is the floor here? It looked like a refrigerator. He said, yes, here we, here we store a lot of beef. 
I said, why you store beef here? He said, because we are we discover the Quran teaching the truth that if anyone die, we beat him with beef. He wake up. He tell us the name of the one who killed him. We take the name and we record him, and then we arrest the guy. <laughs> Look at this. So now in the FBI had the Karkar, Kartar, Karakara. So brother, they have a big refrigerator for beef. And then when they get them somebody like, you know, you, okay, try it. Go, don't, don't try that, okay? I'm just joking. You know, don't go and go shoot somebody and kill him, no. So let us say there's somebody die, huh? And then like, okay, go and beat him with the beef. No, not here, man. Don't hit the guy in his nuts, you stupid idiot. That will kill him more. He will die again now. I mean, if he is going to wake up, he will wake up from pain. <laughs> Don't beat him in his balls with the beef. Beat him in his face. And anyhow, anyway, so there's some like, some like you know the details. We don't want to go there. Wow, so good, so beautiful. So Musa's brother Moshe, he went to the beef uh, butcher. He said, "Habibi, I want some uh, beef, Habibi. So Habibi, give me some beef." So, you know, Moshe, he came with the beef and he hit the guy who is dead. And the guy, he came back to life. And then Allah, he says, thus, this is how Allah resurrect people from death. Like, what the heck? Are you saying to us in the day of resurrection, Allah will order a lot of beef and he will beat us with it so we can be resurrected? That's deep. Is that how resurrection happened? How much beef Allah is going to get in the judgment? I mean, where he will get all those cows from? That's deep. So do we call it the, the beef day? I mean, we cannot call it the judgment day no more in Islam. Obviously, this is the beef day. Allah will bring like billions and billions and trillions of beefy beef. Here, why Allah don't use uh, pork? Cheaper. I mean, it have to be beef. Well, why not cow? I mean, why? Why? Sorry, beef is not cow. Come on. Uh, why not lamb? You know? Why not? Why not camel? You see, the power of Allah is located inside the cow. Other animals, they cannot do that. Take a note, take a note, you know. Hey, you, I mean, you in the corner, idiot. Yeah, take a note. Chapter 2, verse number 73. This is how Allah brings people from death, by striking them by beef. It's a very very brother Peter. Some Christian they say that Jesus he resurrects people from death. I say to you, it's not only Jesus, because brother Musa he did the same. Allah he told him to get some beef, and he hit the guy, the dead guy with the beef, and the guy came back to the room, and then he said to him, "What's your name? Who is the one who killed you?" He said, "I can't make." And he died again, brother. So they hit the dead guy with the beef, and then the guy woke up and he told the name of the killer. The beef method. Okay, guys, I cannot stay longer here because I don't have beef at home. And what if somebody kill me? Like, hello? <laughs> How you will know who killed me? How? Huh? So, for the sake of security and for the sake of uh, uh, preserving the truth, brother, we better buy beef and store them at home. And you know what? <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on. If your mother-in-law, she used a credit card and she bought like some bracelet made of gold and silver and diamond and she hide it, and then she die. How you will get where the... That's it, she hide it. Huh? Now we get the idea. You bring some beef. You go to her bed before they bury her. Beef, 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 beef with the beef. She wake up. You say to her, where is the bracelet? The one you bought with my credit card. She will tell you where and she die again. Me. I know, I know those ideas are very unique. And you are learning a lot of tricks from me. 
I, I, I understand, I understand. I will not charge you for it. It's okay. It's okay. Especially with your mother in law. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> anyway, I'm not going to answer any more questions because that would make us stay for the other four hours. And suppose today I decide to make my video short. And already we are two hours. So thank you. I have to go because we are short of beef. And may Allah beef you all. Have a beefy life. Have a beefy situation. Have a beefy Taliban. Have a beefy actors who say stupid things. Have a beefy president. Like, you know the thing? You know Joe Biden? You know, he's a beef president. He's the, he is the most beefy president ever. I mean, this guy, he drank beef when he talk. He don't talk. He drank beef. You know, like, uh, you know, we are created by the thing. You know, like, uh, you know, you know the thing. So, like, you know, beef. Uh, thing, so, to da, da. And the funny, the journalists in USA, they understand perfectly what Biden he meant. <laughs> but when Trump, he talked, they don't understand. <laughs> like, can you explain to us more? I mean, Trump, he speak for an hour, explain details, and nobody, and, and they are complaining. Can you explain to us more? But the, Joe Biden, he go, and you, you know, like, you know, is that the thing? And you know, that we know when the, you know, when, and you know, when we didn't there, and uh, like, uh, and I, I forgot what's your name, you know, okay. And uh, okay, uh, Mr. John, uh, my sir, my name is, is Mark, not John. Okay, Mr. John. Uh, so, Anyway, so I leave you with no uh, <clears throat> with no more explanation from Biden's speech. I hope you understood it, because Biden's speech is the same as the Quran's speech, very close, and they are very much in touch. And may, may Allah touch you with His beef, and with the beef of Allah, I leave you with His mercy. Alhamdulillah. Pagan cult, stupid religion. So, guys, we are victorious with Jesus, and this is nothing but a stupid madness cult full of garbage and lies and fictions you have to be a certified fool to believe in one of those words think about it and don't let me know let yourself know what is your decision and i will see you again i say may the lord bless you and this is humbly your brother christian prince who was not making a comedy show but was sharing the truth which is comedy and comedy hurt and comedy hurt a lot because it is a dark comedy it is about muhammad it's about night where we cannot see the darkness of the night he wants you to go blind with false promises and fictions by the name of the lord i leave you in peace and the lord he is our provider and he is our supporter, and he is our protector, not the American government, not anyone. Time will come, the Lord said, and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. Which God? The devil. Thank you. God bless you, and see you soon. Take care.